Coach, I saw where Bowling Green won a tough overtime game last week. What are your early impressions of them? I think they're good. I think they're a good scrappy team. You know, they play hard start to finish. And, uh, you know, we're just getting into the film now. But, uh, no, they look good. Uh, they look good and could have won all three of them pretty easily. Mike, I think in a, uh, that Arkansas game last year was when uh, on a fourth and one, Will kept and, and ran for the first down himself. On those, you know, shotgun plays and, and he's handing off the ball, does he have the option himself kind of there to decide if he wants to pull it and take it himself? <coughs> or is that something you guys kind of determine pre-snap? Uh, he's pulled it before, you know, and uh, one of them was going to, but just didn't get the ball out, you know. What's kind of been your message to your guys uh, kind of post that, <coughs> post that game? And do you kind of view this game as, you know, a nice little break from SEC play before you kind of get back into there to work on something? Uh, I don't view anything as breaks. <coughs> I just view the week each season as a segment to get better and improve. And uh, we might... <coughs> <clears throat> We've identified plenty to improve on from the film of last game, and we got to get a week better this week. Coach, you tell me about being explosive. You got a couple guys, Rai Rai and Tulu, that appear to be very explosive, but they play the same position. Is there ever like a scenario <laughs> where you could get them both on the field at the same time? And kind of how do you approach that? Well, maybe. I mean, the thing is, is uh, <clears throat> One of the reasons they're explosive is because they kind of know what they're doing, where they're at, you know. So the ex <clears throat> the execution level's higher, and then uh, uh, the other thing is, is in some cases, you know, it's just a sequence of when they got there. I mean, there was a point, uh, what six months ago, nobody knew Ra Ra was, um, and then, uh, well, then the other thing is, is um, uh, ducking's on the other side, and so, you know, do you play him or those other two? And he's, you know, had some good games. I didn't think he played particularly well this last game, but, you know, he's had some good games and <clears throat> definitely brings some things to the table there. So, you know, you have to balance, you know, whether you're, we're going to sit him down on behalf of something like that. But the other thing is, is, um, you know, they can kind of execute where they're at and have a guy go over there and start guessing what he's doing. Uh, you know, that's going to take several weeks to iron out, so. Coach, last year you guys proved to be a pretty resilient <clears throat> bunch, whether it was coming back from defeats or in the middle of games, overcoming big deficits. Just, uh, I guess, kind of a two-part question. What do, what have you kind of seen out of your guys as, as you saw them yesterday? And uh, just how much can they draw on that experience from last year of, of being able to shake it off and as you move forward? Oh, I, you know, I don't, I don't know for sure. I mean, the biggest thing is, is – Stick together, work hard, and stay focused, and understand. You know, be, you know, critical of what you can improve on, and do it. You know. John. Mike, how confident are you that your guys are going to be able to kind of bounce back from from Saturday? Well, I've been confident every Saturday, really. I mean, you know, I mean that's, you know, you just prepare and you prepare, get better, and go out there and play the best you can. Some more reps for uh, Deshaun Page this past week. I guess, what have you seen from him maybe in these first few weeks of the season? Um, you know, the progression you've kind of been looking for for him and, you know, what role or increased role you think he's going to have, you know, as the season goes on? Uh, we'd like him to play more and more. You know, I mean, I think he's kind of emerging. He's doing some things better and better. And, uh, you know, the more depth we get, uh, you know, the fresher we can play, too. Coach, it appeared for three quarters the defense was absolutely lights out. And maybe it gassed out a little bit there in the fourth quarter. What do you kind of attribute that to? Is it you know lack of continuity on offense? Is it a rotation thing? Is it it's about building depth? What would you kind of assess that to be? I thought all three sides, uh, you know, buckled at key times. And I think that, uh, you know, I just think that, uh, you know, and the other guy has something to do with it too because, you know, LSU's a good team and has good players. and. Uh, were certainly highly decorated when uh, they came out of high school, and I, and most of them, I think, have improved. Um, so there is that, but I think that uh, you know the biggest thing is is we just have to stay focused and do our jobs for longer. We got to play harder, longer, and 
you know, and we didn't. And then, and then plus, uh, they're a tough group anyway, so that presents its own challenges. But it was certainly there for us on because uh, we did things on all three sides of the ball that uh, uh, lost the game, and we did things on all three sides of the ball that could have won it too. With uh, Xavion and Austin both, you know, back there returning punts, I guess what are the are, are there specific roles that they kind of have of when you know one guy is in and <coughs> anticipate that you know staying the same moving forward? Uh, Xavion's getting better and better. I mean, the, he's just a freshman, so we've. You know, we've uh, quickly uh, worked with him to teach him to be a punt returner, and uh, and I think he certainly looked good. I mean, this was about as good a punt return debut as I've seen a guy have, and so uh, uh, no, I I think he's going to be returning more punts. You know, and that that uh, role could definitely grow. Coach, how would you assess where your offensive line's at right now? Uh, the first two weeks, I thought they played real well. I did not think they played uh, together particularly well this last week. John, <clears throat> do you look at Saturday as a learning experience at all for you know coaching staff, or any of your guys? And what kind of do you think you all can learn the most from that game and apply it moving forward? Uh, they're all learning experiences, and then I think you know, I mean, consistency is easy to talk about, but. Uh, you know, you do everything sore and fatigued in football, and then, you know, and then all of a sudden you're tested. And I think that we just have to take that step. We have to be able to, you know, do it harder, longer. Anything else, Steve? Obviously, the end result is to win the game this Saturday. But you know, what, what are you looking for, maybe perhaps from the team to feel like they've taken the next step? Well, we got to play well the entire time. Anytime you have a play, you need to play well, and it doesn't matter, you know, what the situation is, what the score is, and uh, and you know, you can't sit there and pay attention to what happened in the past or you know any uh, scenarios or judgments. I think we waste too much time uh, making judgments on situations of the game or something that happened the previous play, and. You know, and that's that's uh, reckless and counterproductive, and I know it hurt us on Saturday. Obviously, coming off you know tough back-to-back -back road trips, um, I guess do you, do you feel some excitement maybe for for your team to kind of get start the stretch of three in a row uh, playing here at Davis Way Stadium? Our schedule certainly didn't help us, you know, leading in to this week. You know, we'd had. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember how long the first game lasted. The first game probably lasted 12 hours. Uh, you know, then the next game, uh, you know, fly to Arizona. Supposed to get back at six in the morning. We get back at 10:30 in the morning, uh, and then head to LSU. I don't think it helped us much, but I think you know you just gotta you gotta fight through it, and you gotta you gotta yeah, you just do it anyway, you know. Mike, I know you've been around a lot of teams and, and players after some losses at some point, so you'd be probably a good judge of this. But how would you kind of assess how the players have responded to it so far in terms of their preparation, film watching, and just kind of attitude since uh, since the game Saturday? I think we play hard. I, we play hard. We practice hard. Uh, I think we're a little quick to get discouraged. I think we're kind of fragile as far as getting discouraged when we face adversity, and we've got to fight through that. Following up on that question, does that does that surprise you a little bit, considering you know kind of the age of this team that they're battling adversity a little bit? Yeah. Uh, well, the the better the opponent, the more that there is. I uh, we're really not particularly old on offense. You know, we have some starts under our belts, but we're not particularly old. We are older on defense. Um, yeah, we are older on defense. And then, you know, the biggest thing is is. Um, uh, yeah, you know, I, I mean, both of our trenches, we got to take charge and take control of things. And the offensive line and the defensive line, I think, is where a lot of it starts. But then, um, uh, but no, I mean, there's going to be adversity. That's why they have a football game in the first place to create adversity and see who comes through it. And uh, you know, so and the way you come through it is you 
is you have the discipline to do your job more times in a row than the guy across from you, so that's what we got to do. I, I know you just mentioned what you all have to do, but is there anything like you can kind of say to your guys to kind of, you know, help help address that and help them, you know, be less like that than what you mentioned? Uh, so you think there was a sentence or two that wasn't said last week? I mean, left out a, f a phrase maybe, a couple words, uh, maybe a key adjective here or there. Uh, no, I think it's a little more complex than that. With the with the struggles on extra points, would, have you considered you know going for two here on out, or is that not something? Yes, I have, and I've considered kicking some of them myself. 